Climb through the clutter, these are the hard facts. Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zabolinski, and this week on Hard Facts, I want to make sure you're doing dynamic retargeting. Now this applies to no matter what your business is for and what your business is selling, because I'll tell you a quick story here. So last night I was online, I was scrolling on Instagram and saw a 40% off sale for a clothing retailer. Easiest way to catch my attention. Tell me something's on sale and I only have a limited amount of time to take advantage of it. So I go over to their website and now I'm clicking through, I'm taking a look at different products that they have and I decided to leave their website. I said, you know what, I have a couple days to decide if I take advantage of this sale. But I did notice there were a couple of products that were maybe low on inventory. So I left, I wake up in the middle of the night because I can't sleep. So I'm on Facebook scrolling through and I see an ad talking about all of the things that I was specifically interested in. That right there, folks, is dynamic retargeting. So specifically, dynamic retargeting is the ability to take the inventory on your website that somebody has previously viewed and put that in a display ad across both Google and Facebook, showing that client the inventory that they were specifically interested in while previously on your website. And say somebody only looks at one or two pieces of inventory, they'll go ahead and suggest like models or items to that client, allowing them to come back to, their, to your website with a call to action specific to them, increasing that user experience and the conversion on your site. Are your ads lacking creativity? Do you or your agency not know digital? Are you not hitting your goals? Sounds like it's time for a new agency. Let's talk today. Call 866-543-4485 or email yes at ppadv.com. So talk to your digital team about implementing dynamic retargeting. And if you need a hand, give me a call. And in case you were wondering, I did wake up at five and buy a few items. But that's just another example of how a hard fact turns into a solid strategy. Like, tweet, or comment below on a topic you'd like me to cover, and I'll see you next week.